Chapter 34 Helaman and the Two Thousand Young Warriors The people of Ammon had promised God that they would never fight again. They lived near the Nephites, and the Nephites protected them. When enemies of the people of Ammon attacked the Nephites, the people of Ammon wanted to break their promise and help the Nephites fight. Helaman and the other Nephite leaders did not want the people of Ammon to break their promise to God. The young sons of the people of Ammon had not made the promise. They wanted to help the Nephite army fight for freedom. 2,000 of these young men chose to defend their country. They asked Helaman to be their leader. These young men were valiant, brave, and strong. They were also honest and trustworthy, and they kept the commandments of God. Helaman led his 2,000 young warriors into battle. He called them his sons, and they called him their father. Although the sons of Helaman had never fought, they were not afraid. Their mothers had taught them to have faith in God and to know that he would help them. Helaman and his army fought several battles against the Lamanites. These young men obeyed all of Helaman's orders. They fought bravely and helped drive the enemy away. After the battle, Helaman found that all his sons had been hurt, but not one had been killed. It was a miracle. Helaman was very happy. He knew that these young men had been protected because of their great faith in God.